it's here and if you stay to the end of the video I'll show how you can get this for a month free welcome to spacecraft guide the channel that goes over the most iconic spacecraft in the world in this issue of spacecraft guide we are going to continue our work on the lunar lander but now we are going to start working on panel eight, which is the explosive devices. And in this episode, we are going to work on the main switch for this, the explosive device arm switch. And when you click on it, it takes you to the explosive device master arm switch. Now, this is a triple pole double throw switch with a common two position lever locking toggle mechanism for the off and on position. It's used to arm the explosive devices subsystems. On enables actuation of all lunar module explosive devices by actuating redundant relays that route power to the EDS buses. Off, remove all power from the relay. And in here, EDS means explosive device system buses. So this is a big switch. This switch arms everything to the explosive device bus. If you didn't turn this switch on, nothing worked in this system. So let's take a look in the schematics how it worked. In the schematics, you'll see the master arm switch right here and i kept this all kind of blown uh, uh expanded because as you see when you turn this to on this whole uh line is powered so every one of the switch and indicators gets its power from this switch so the battery comes on the power comes through and then this is set to fire so when the switch is moved any one of these switches that power is the power is re gone to the relay and when the relay contacts all of these functions are activate or will be able to be activated so here we have let so the functions you can read them all right here these are everything that is needed or that can be activated with putting this master switch to the arm. If it's not in the arm or on position, the master arm switch is not in the arm position, none of this works. So the landing gear doesn't come down. The descent propelling venting doesn't work. None of this works. It is a very, very important switch. As you And if you wanna know why we use the explosive devices, just go to the general and there's another video there that'll explain it. Today's the day. It's the day that you can join the Spacecraft Interactive Virtual Museum and you can get the whole month of July for free. So, what do you get? Well, there are three memberships. You have the Historic Spacecraft for $4, up to the Present Spacecraft for 7 and Into the Future for 12 So, what basically you get in Historic is all the spacecraft that have gone up to this time. So you get Apollo, you get the shuttle, and then uh, you find out how I work on it, and then you can give me feedback. And then you can also get some merch that's coming up, some uh, stuff that we're gonna uh, do as apps for uh, the spacecraft. Up to the present, that gets everything in historic and includes the International Space Station plus private access to me creating the panoramas. So you can see what I am doing and how I'm doing it and get an, uh, an idea of what it takes to make this. And then finally, $12 a month into the future. So not only do you get historic spacecraft, not not only the International uh, Space Station up to the present spacecraft, but you get Artemis and going to the moon. I use my resources within NASA to get the imagery 
within uh, the Artemis spacecraft. So you'll be able to see what it takes to go to the moon today. And we are going to the moon and we're going to stay. And again, you also get uh, me they're showing me, uh, me showing you how I do the panoramas. So sign up today. You've got a, all of July free. So if you sign up today, which July 1st, you have the whole 30 days. If you July, join July 2nd, you get 29 days. So the sooner you join, the more time you have to explore for free. And then if you don't like it, you can just cancel. That's all for this week. If you would like to use this interactive virtual reality exhibit on the command module, the lunar module, and the surface of the moon, just go to our Patreon page and the link will be down below.